It's another pure grey morning Don't know what the day is holding And I get up right home And I walk right into the path of a lightning bolt The siren of an ambulance comes howling Right through the center of town And no one blinks an eye And I look up to the sky for the path of a lightning bolt Matter as the angels parted for her She only brought me torture That's what happens when it's you that's standing in the path of a lightning bolt Just walk to see that we've uh, got a little neighbour over there this morning. That's what I love about these northwesty pop tops with the windows round the sides. You can actually, if you're asleep up here, you can actually see what's going on around you. Look, you wouldn't get that with a with a normal pop top canvas and this mesh is so fine you don't really feel any any draft blowing in it's almost as if the curtain was closed they're really cool I love it really love it real good quality too Chances, people tell you not to take chances, and they'll tell you that there aren't any answers. And I'm starting to agree, but I woke suddenly in the path of a lightning ball. Hi, welcome back to Camper Van Culture. This time. We're kind of an hour or so away from London, not far at all really. But as you can see, all around us, uh, yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty um, feel quite far away. Uh, this is a really old bridge near, um, not too far from a place called Arundel. It's um, got heaps of history. Uh, I'll do a little re bit of research on this bridge. It's it's pretty old. Um, you know, there is loads of like castles and stuff around here, so we're going to probably maybe check a few of those out later on. Uh, we're sort of camped just over there by the river, really nice. We had a few neighbours this morning, or a couple of neighbours in some green van, like a kind of wood burning number in there, looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we'll check out the area, do a bit of exploring, um, not really knowing where we're going to be heading or. Maybe down the coast later, but yeah, it's uh, this place is really cool, really nice um, evening stay. So yeah, we'll uh, check out what's going on. Morning, it's another pure grey morning. Don't know what the day is holding, and I get up right home and I walk right into the path of a lightning bolt. So after a little breakfast though feel much better, ready for a day ahead. I just had a little look on um, Wikipedia and the bridge we're on was built by Sir Henry Tregos in the early 14th century. That makes this bridge pretty old. Actually that is really old. Um, and the iron section of the bridge were built after floods had damaged the bridge in 1838 and a skirmish took place near the bridge during the English Civil War. Uh, we're pretty lucky, aren't we? Because this is just a regular part of road in the area. And um, yeah, I wonder how many people drive over it and not even give it a second thought. But like the history in these old um, these old stones, I bet they could um, tell a tale or two. Little things that have gone on in the past. So yeah, I feel pretty, pretty privileged to be here, don't we? Little bits here that you stand in as well. So uh, when the traffic goes over, you can just come to one side. I guess in the days when it was built, it's probably horse-drawn carriages and stuff. But yeah, it's cool. I hear you calling a 
That's another great stay. Let's head off somewhere else. Here we are in a place called Arundel. It's quite nice. There's a big old castle at the back. It's uh, kind of got like a medieval feel. This is the high street just down here. It's a pretty, pretty interesting place. Look okay, Isaac. I'm sending you cross-eyed. <laughs> Follow the theme of churches. We're not religious people by any means. In fact, Louise is a bit of a, well, she's not a bit of a, she's an atheist. But we do appreciate sort of, you know, religious architecture and stuff, especially the history behind it. So yeah, we're, um, the van's back there, the Westie. We've decided to head to the sea, find a good wild camping spot, which come up Trump. As you can see, we're pretty close to the sea, right behind us, and then, I don't know, like behind us again, sort of countryside, so it's quite a nice place. Well, uh, last night was awesome, really good place um, near the bridge though. want to return back to that one. <laughs> Yeah, it was end of day two. This is my favourite time of day, the golden hour. Just sort of chilling out. Everyone seems to have gone home or going home from the beach. So yeah, this is when, uh, when it's nice just to sort of relax, hopefully not get any hassle off anybody. This is really weird, it's February, it should be about minus two or three at least. I'm sat here in a t-shirt, it's like, what, 4.30? 
Looks like we're going to have a nice sunset this evening. Just hanging out for that. Yeah, we have a couple of beers later on. If we've got any left. Had a few last night by the bridge. But yeah, it's ended up doing a pretty cool weekend so far. Really enjoyed it. It's nice to get outdoors again. Sort of mess around with the camera and stuff. Make another camper van culture video. Enjoy doing those. Good thing about it for me though is gives me an excuse to get out and find new places that I probably usually wouldn't find but it makes me make a bit more of an effort to get out there Another beautiful sunny day, February sunny day in the UK. The sea's just on the other side of that hill over there. There isn't a cloud in the sky this morning. Very peaceful. Now we're in Petworth, it's a national trust place. Very foggy. Not that far from the coast, but. It's a good pick, huh? Yeah, the difference is massive. So, when all this fog's burnt off, um, I have to get a good view from the top of here. We've been here before and seen deers and stuff, so. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might see some more. Oh, the sun's come out now, and there's a herd of deer over there. How many do you reckon are there, Louise? It's gotta be what, 100? Possibly. 